Hello friends, welcome to MSFT webcast. In the second part of this two-part video series, we'll see the steps to configure network policy server. In the first part of this video series, we learned the steps to install the network policy server in Windows Server 2012 R2. And we also install and configure DHCP server. As well as, we create a one scope named scope1 on our DHCP server. So now, we are going to configure network access protection. NPS allows you to create a network access protection for client health. Through NAP, we can restrict the network access or provide limited network access to the unhealthy clients from using organization's network. So now, first of all, I'm going to open Active Directory, Users and Computer Console on our domain computer. Let's open Active Directory, Users and Computers. In our lab scenario, we have a one Windows 7 client computer. And as you can see, right now, the computer account of that computer is stored under computer's container. We want to create one OU. So let's create one OU and uh, let's specify the name client PC. Let's click on OK. Now, we want to move our client computer account to newly created OU. So select client computer's account. Right click on it and select move and select the destination OU. In our case, that is client PC. Let's click on OK. OK, so we have a one OU named uh, client PC under Active Directory and uh, we want to apply the network access policy on the client computers in the client PC OUs only. NAP policy will verify if firewall is enabled on the client computers. If firewall is not enabled, then it would block or restrict the network access to our organization's network. However, we can also define the policy to verify antivirus and anti-spyware application as well as we can also set the policy to verify Windows update settings as well. First, we will configure NAP and then we will create a policy and apply to our OU. So let's move to Network Policy Server Console again. Now on the screen, Let's click on configure NAP. Now on the network connection method, select DHCP because we want to integrate NAP with DHCP server. Now this will be the prefix of uh, the policy which uh, this wizard will create. So let's modify a little bit and click on next. Let's click on next. On a specific DHCP scope console, click on add to enable NAP policy on DHCP scope. We can do this later also. If you do not specify any scope here, then this policy would be enabled on all the NAP enabled DSCP scopes. When you specify one or more NAP enabled scopes, NPS evaluates client health and perform authorization for client computers requesting an IP address from the designated scopes. So let's click on next. Next again. On specify a NAP remediation server group and URL, you have to specify remediation server group. If you have already any configured in your environment, you can select from here. But right now, we do not have any remediation server group. So let's click on new group to create a new group. Now let's specify new remediation server group name. Okay, let's add the IP address of remediation server. Now I'm going to specify the IP address of our domain controller itself. Let's click on this one. Let's click on OK and let's click on OK. OK, so as you can see, a NAP remediation server is selected. Let's click on Next. Now on Define NAP Health Policy Console, all the installed system health validators are listed. Select the system health validators that we want to enforce with the health policy. In this practical, we have uh, only default Windows System Health Validator and that is by default selected. Now there is also option selected and that is uh, enable auto remediation of client computers. This will grant limited network access to NAP capable clients computers so that they can obtain software updates from a remediation server. If this option is not selected then the client computers cannot update automatically. We have to manually update them for full network access. And here we have a two more options. Deny full network access to NAP in eligible client computers. 
allow access to a restricted network only so that nap in eligible client computers can access a restricted network for automatic updates from remediation server so i am not going to change anything on this console just click on next on completing nap enforcement policy and radius client configuration we can verify the options and policies that we have selected on previous console now let's click on finish to complete this configuration now let's expand policies under connection request policies we can see we have a one policy name nap underscore dhcp click on network policies and here we have a total three policies nap dhcp compliant nap dhcp non compliant nap dhcp non nap capable computers and if you click on health policy we have a total two policies there nap dhcp compliant and nap dhcp non compliant computer if we see a policy nap dhcp compliant if we double click on it we can see if client pass all system health validation check that computer will fall under this policy name nap dhcp compliant and if computer fall under this policy they will match with this network policy name nap dhcp compliant if you see a condition here's the condition health policy nap dhcp compliant and if they match with this network policy they will get full network access and if they will fall under dhcp non compliant they will only get limited network access as well as auto remediation from our remediation server Let's click on okay now for this demonstration we want our system health validators only check for windows firewall so for that we have to expand network access protection expand system health validators expand windows security health validators and click on settings this is the our default configuration right click on it and select properties now on this screen we have uh, options for windows 8 windows 7 and windows vista as well as we have a separate options for windows xp but we have a windows 7 client computer only and that's why i'm going to select this box now these are the system health validation check and first one is a firewall is unable on all network connection we do not have any antivirus on client computer for this demonstration that's why i'm going to remove this checkbox as well as checkbox for spyware and as well as automatic update also so we only want to check windows firewall status on a client computer now let's click on ok so that policy would check if the firewall is enabled for the client computers or not if firewall is not enabled then it would try to enable the firewall automatically else it would grant restricted access to user so now in the next step let's go to our dhcp server we have already installed and configured dhcp server and a scope is also defined to assign ip addresses to client computer let's open dhcp management console now we have to define our nap policy on dhcp scope on a dhcp console expand your server name expand ipv4 right click on ipv4 and select properties now click on network access protection on network access protection console uh, under network access protection setting let's click on enable on all scopes this will override network access protection settings on uh, all of the scope do you wish to continue click on the yes now here we have a uh, options for dhcp server behavior when nps is untouchable and the by default select options is full access and that we want let's click on ok you can also specify the settings for individual scopes like select the scope property and click on network access protection now here you can see enable for this scope if you want to disable network access protection settings on this scope only that time you can select this checkbox let's click on ok and let's close dhcp management console so to configure network policy server gpu needs to be created so let's open group policy management console on a group policy management console expand your forest expand your to me expand your to me name and expand group policy object right click on it and select new you want to create new gpu let's specify the name nap with dhcp 
Let's click on OK. Select newly created GPO. Right click on it and select edit. Now first of all, expand computer configuration and under computer configuration, expand policies. Under policies, expand Windows settings. Under Windows settings, expand security settings. And under security settings, expand network access protection. Expand network client configuration and expand enforcement clients. Now from this console, you have to enable DHCP quarantine enforcement client. Let's uh, double click on it. Select enable this enforcement client. Let's click on apply and let's click on OK. Now we want to configure network access protection agent service status. So let's uh, expand system services. Select network access protection agent service. Double click on it. Select define these policy settings and we want the service startup type will be automatic on all client computers and that's why I'm selecting automatic. Let's click on apply. Let's click on OK. Let's move for third policy and uh, under computer configuration, expand policies, expand administrative templates, expand windows component and uh, select security center. Under security center, there is only one policy and that is turn on security center domain PC only. Double click on it and select enable and then click on apply. And that's it. Once you set all this policy, let's close group policy management editor console and let's select our OU that is client hyphen PC. Right click on it and select link and existing GPU. Select the GPU which was created. Nap with GHCP and let's click on OK. Now the GPU which we created is a link with our OU name client PC. So now uh, let's uh, go back to our Windows 7 computer. On Windows 7 computer, let's uh, manually update the group policy by running command gp update slash ports. Okay, as you can see, the policy is updated successfully in this computer, but we just set a computer based policy, and that's why I want to restart this Windows 7 computer at least once. After restart, let's again log into our Windows 7 computer with the credential of our administrator. So after logging to Windows 7 computer, first of all, I'm going to open Windows Firewall Console. Okay, and uh, let's open Network Connection Console as well. As you can see, we are receiving IP address from our DHCP server and we enable NAP with our DHCP server as well. And that will check the status of Windows Firewall. Let's close, close and close. Now, right now, the Windows Firewall is turned on. Now, if we turn off Windows Firewall, then NAP would again automatically turn on the Windows Firewall because of NAP policies. So let's try to turn off Windows Firewall. Let's uh, select turn off Windows Firewall for all profile. Let's click on OK. Wait for a few seconds. And here we go. As you can see, Windows Firewall has been turned on automatically by NAP policies. One more thing which uh, we want to taste because we just set a system health validator to check the status of only Windows Firewall. And that's why NAP will automatically turn on Windows Firewall and this Windows 7 client computer will get a full network accessor. First of all, I'm going to set one more IP address on our Tumin controller. Select properties. Let's add additional IP address. 192.168.49.2. Let's add. Now let's uh, try to ping both IP address from our client computer. So let's type a command ping. 192.168.49.5 As you can see, client is receiving replay from our domain controller's IP and that is 192.168.49.5 Remember, we add this IP address in a NAP remediation server group. 
and this IP address is not added inside NAP remediation server. Right now, this computer is also able to communicate with that IP address. That means this computer has a full network access. Now, let's move back to our domain controller. Let's move to Network Policy Server Console and let's select the default configuration of Windows System Health Validator. Double click on it and this time we want to check all these system health validation options. Okay, let's click on OK. And definitely our Windows 7 computer is not able to pass all that system health validator test. Let's move to our Windows 7 computer and once I'm going to release the IP address which we received from our DHCP server. Okay, now let's renew again. Okay, now let's try to ping 192.168.49.5. Okay, we are receiving replay from that IP address but if we try to ping 192.168.49.2 we are not able to communicate with that IP address because this time this computer has limited network access and client computer is able to communicate with this IP address because this IP address is added in a remediation server group. Now if we see the IP address of our Windows 7 computer gone details as you can see the subnet mask is 255 255, 255, 255. That means we have a full subnet mask. And this computer is in now restricted mode. Let's close this console. So this is the way how we can configure NAP to work with DHCP server. Hope you understand the steps to configure network policy server. And that's it for this video demonstration. Thanks for watching this video.